We're going to finish off the introduction to Node and Express.js by deploying a MongoDB-backed application. So I'm taking the Mongoose Associations app that we built in that screencast, which was the user's app, and I'm going to deploy it onto Heroku. So I've already got a Git repository. And let's just open up the files to see what we've got in here. There are a couple modifications we need to make in order to deploy to Heroku. And they basically concern environment variables. So for Mongoose, the connection, I'm going to say connection URI is equal to process.env. Um, Heroku's is called MongoDB URI. And then the default is going to be the localhost slash users. And then when we connect to Mongoose, we're going to pass the connection URI. So just like Heroku is picky about ports, if you saw the last video, which by the way, we need to update the port. So we'll say under the global section, const port equals process.env.port or 3000. And I'm going to do port here. And then port in the string as well. Roku is picky about the port that it puts the server on, but it also is going to pass a specific MongoDB URI as an environment variable. And it is case sensitive, just like port. And those two configuration options are essentially um, must-haves in order to deploy a MongoDB-backed app. The rest of it, you can just do in the command line. So let's do git status. Let's commit the fact that we added environment variables to Mongo connection string and port. And then we'll go through the rest of our Heroku stuff. So first of all, I'm going to Heroku create um, demo mongoose associations. And there we've got demo mongoose associations .herokuapp.com. And then I'm going to create a proc file, which gives instructions for running this web app. Um, I always like to cat the proc file to see. Cool. Then I'm going to add and commit the proc file. And then before we deploy the app, um, let's look at how to set up MLab for MongoDB. So what we can do is Roku add-ons create Mongo lab. So what this is actually doing is signing up for a Mongo account and connecting to it. And if you go to your app dashboard for Heroku, which I believe I have open, I'll just navigate to it again. So if I go to Heroku, my Mongoose Associations app. Um, you can see that I added the MongoDB MLab sandbox add-on, which is $0 a month, which is awesome. But um, it's connecting essentially this add-on, which redirects me to MLab. And now I have my own very own Mongo DB database, which is called Heroku underscore seven LB blah 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 blah, and you can see my user and account number over here. But I didn't even have to do any of this 
uh, trust me, working as a professional developer um, and having DevOps people set up and provision MongoDB databases can be one of the worst experiences, especially if you get into sharding or um, multiple redundancy and all that kind of junk. But with Heroku, you can do it with one single command from the command line. All you have to do is Heroku add-ons create MongoLab. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm pretty sure now that we have this, we can just straight up deploy the app and we'll see if it works. Fingers crossed. So I'm gonna do git status, git, git push Heroku master. And now we've got our Heroku building output. And the build was successful and it's launching. And we can actually just click on that link and see if it's gonna work. And there it is. I can create a user, Michael, edit user, add a skill. Um, I don't have any skills in my database, but I can actually navigate to slash skills, create a new skill, JavaScript. Anyway, the point is this whole app is working and it was super easy to deploy like crazy easy. If you try to do what Heroku does on your own with AWS, it's gonna take way longer and not be as rewarding or fun. Uh, leave it to the DevOps guys, uh, bless their hearts. <laughs> but anyway, so basically deploying um, a Heroku app with MongoDB couldn't be easier. You just run one simple command and make sure that you're referencing the right environment variables in your code. And that's pretty much it. Happy coding and happy deploying to Heroku.